on this staying down and then me sitting on my tailbone versus me kind of living with my tailbone tucked under a little bit. It's been a lot. I've been noticing my shoulders uh, conscientiously. So, so I'm telling you what I'm noticing. I'd love you to notice things on yourself. I've been noticing the more, here, I'll turn over this way. Which is why I want to take the path that we do nice and slow good, is that when I'm tucked under, from here, it actually goes into my back. See how my upper back looks tucked? But when I'm on, it actually lengthens it out. So being able to sit on my tailbone and not to tuck under, because it actually creates that, that kind of hunchback area there. And like, I can try to adjust my shoulders and I can't quite flatten it out. But when my torso is long, I can flatten it out and then I can move, okay? So super important because you can feel it on the ground. So I'm gonna go back to my pelvis. I wanna uh, tuck under and then I'm gonna kind of arch back. I'm gonna tuck and I'm gonna get a little bit of an arch there. Good job, guys. And then I wanna go ahead and stop in the middle and then I wanna drop my hip down towards the camera and then the other way. And kind of drop. Good morning, Melissa. And drop. Yeah, and so when we take our legs up, you're going to be able to uh, feel how we're recruiting differently, okay? And then can you make little pelvic circles? Can you make circles? I'm like, we care about form, but guys, your body's so cool. It can do so many cool things. Good, go ahead, go the other way. And I want to, like, in these, like, beginning warm-ups of, like, getting your joints awake and getting things moving, I want you to feel good about yourself. Good morning. Um, then I'm going to put my hands on my ribs. I want to go ahead and tuck my chin just a little bit so my neck is as long as possible, uh, but I still have a fist space here. See what that feels like. Um, and then I'll put my hands on my ribs. Can you breathe it to the floor? And then when you exhale, can you pull your ribs close? And then again, breathe it to the floor. And exhale. And just pretend like you have a corset here. And the reason this is so important is this is our, our, this is our musculature. We don't have a lot of bones in this, which is great. We wouldn't have bones in here. That'd be kind of funny. Um, but we want to use that musculature to protect everything in there as we go on. Now, since you pulled your ribs down, check the front of your bones here to make sure that muscle isn't fired on. And if it is, uh, figure out what position you can get to make it go away. And then I want you to take a nice deep breath in. I want you to close your eyes. You don't have to see anything here. And I want you to relax and melt into the floor, but keep your steady base. Keep your active potential. So we're not really doing anything, but you're energized and ready. And now as I, my eyes are closed, because I can't see what I'm doing, I'm going to feel. Can you go ahead and wiggle your toes? Can you lift the arches of your feet? Can you press your heels into the floor? So you're getting really active now, like a lot of active potential. Can you pull your core in really tight towards your spine and not into the floor? And then can you flex your biceps? And can you squeeze all of your muscles as hard as you can? But we're not moving. And hold, 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 and squeeze it all. Hold a little bit more. And then relax. And again, I hope that that's like good as you go through things, you can really make a lot and you can back off without it having to be a big production. So when I offer to you guys different leg positions, it's just so that like you can keep, keep your potential really, really honed in. I think you know this, I'm just giving you different angles to talk. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with my camera leg and I'm gonna let it open up to the side. I'm gonna try and touch the floor. I'm gonna let this rotate a little and I'm gonna bring it back close. And then I'm gonna open it up this is, again, not super crazy exciting, but I want to get you kind of rolling a little bit. But keep going. I've got to fix something up here real quick. There it goes. Let's do like three more. Three. And if you can, take that opposite rib and pull it down to the floor. Two. And one. And then I'll do the other leg. I'm going to open it and close. Now at any point your legs feel heavy, your back gets tired, doing motions with your feet on the ground and like just lifting your heel as we go forward is a good option. I'll go four. Can I touch the ground? Three. Two. Good job. And one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and relax. I'm, I'm not like mushy, but I am on purpose. And then I, but I don't want to make this work super hard and I'm going to take my head and I'm going to look left and right. Um, yeah. Okay, the fun thing about this is this, this is a mind trick, guys. I'm flirting with movement so that way you're like, just get this show on the road. And then that way when we do, you feel good. You're like, yeah, I was ready for it instead of, oh, here it goes. It's like a roller coaster, but you're ready for it because you've been seeing it. 
All right, so now I'm going to take my hands up towards the ceiling. Whenever everybody has a foam roller, and they, we will. Um, Robin's getting one. She's so great. I'm going to pull my shoulders down and then lift back up. But we can do this on the foam roller, but on the floor is helpful too. And notice when you pull your shoulders back, it creates a little space back there. Good. And that's good. Seven. And then I'm going to go ahead and hold it about halfway, right? Because we were able to see what, what each was. I'm going to go up towards my ears and down towards my waist. Up towards my ears and down towards my waist. So since a lot of our beginning movement for probably like the first 20 minutes is going to be core related, still take inventory of what's happening with your uh, with your arm sockets. And then I'm going to go ahead. This is So instead of reaching and lifting, what I want to do is I want to reach and I want to pull this down. So I'm getting a little bit of a stretch here. I'm pulling this down. And then I'm going to relax as it comes back up. Okay, I'm going to pull this down and reach up to get a big stretch. And then back. So again, I'm tightening my core. And then I'm going to do about four more, okay? Squeezing four. This is really helpful when we're in a C-sit and we take our hands up in the mock marina. Three. Two. And one. Okay. So I usually don't warm up like this. We're going to start our first move of the day is the 100, okay? So options, the normal 100 is curled up here. Check your inventory here to make sure your landscape, make sure that you're not ripping your hip flexors. Um, but the options are is if your neck gets tired, I want you to hold your head. Um, instead of holding your hands here, feet can also be here, and then feet can also be out, okay? Whatever feels, um, whatever you're ready for this morning. So I'm going to start by taking my hands behind my head. I'm going to inhale. I'm going to curl up for eight. I'm going to come up for eight. Good. Just so the muscles contract and settle in. Seven. Six. Five. Good job. Good job. Four. Exhale. Three. Two. And one. So I'm going to get myself in my hundred position. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump my arms. I'm going to breathe in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five. Reach your toes. Two, three. Good job. In. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two. Breathe in and out. Almost there. In two, three, four, five, and out. Two. Now lower your feet just a little bit. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five, and out. And tuck it all in. Good. And rest it down. And then let's go ahead and support our necks again. We'll get this party started fully. So I'm going to go ahead. I want to sit on my tailbone. So again, I'm not scooped under because then that's all hip flexor city. Okay, I want to sit on my tailbone. And then I want to curl back up. We're going to start at eight and down. Seven. Look at your... TVA is firing, and if it's not, play with it. Like, you have this time. I'm going to keep asking you to move, but in all these challenges, I want you to be able to maintain um, the best that you can. Three, two, and then I'm going to hold it up, and I'm going to pull some of this piece for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We're going to go ahead and lubricate our hip, our hip joints, okay? So I'm going to point my toe, and I'm going to march the leg up and then set it down. Now, what I used to do is go as far as I can, but that's, again, that's kind of cheating a little bit. So my angles are really hitting this 90 degree angle. By the way, if you cheat for a while, that's part of the journey. You're supposed to kind of mess up a little bit. Three. But now, you know, when you know better, you do better. And then I'm gonna take my leg, I'm gonna send my heel, I'm gonna tap the floor, I'm gonna boop, and bring it back in. And I'm gonna send it out and boop. Good. I'm gonna curl up just a little bit when I do it, three. Four, five, six, seven, and then I'm going to keep the legs straight and I'm going to lift it up to get a little good morning stretch and I'm going to bring it down. Check your kneecap that is coming towards you and it's not rotating in or out. Three, you are worth the work. Four, I'm still tapping my foot. Five, six, seven. Now I'm gonna de-escalate. So now I'm gonna add a twist, straight leg, but I'm gonna add a twist. So I'm gonna walk down the pyramid. So instead of starting at the beginning with the twisting, we're gonna walk down. Three, that's kinda nice. Four, good. Can you exhale? Five, six, seven. And then the next move is we're gonna bend in and out. 
So I'm gonna reach it out and I'm gonna bend it in. Yeah, that looks good. And I'm gonna boop the floor. I've been booping the floor to challenge myself on my range of motion. You don't have to though. Three, but I highly encourage it. Four, yeah. Five, six, seven. And then we're gonna finish with a femur arc. So I'm gonna toe tap. I'm gonna toe tap and twist. One, two, curl up just a little higher. Three, that's like you're ringing on a washcloth. Four, good job guys. Five, six, seven, and eight. And now I'm gonna go ahead and deep it. I'm gonna chuck it by a wiggle anywhere here. I'm gonna set it right. And then I'm gonna go to the other leg. Same step, I'm gonna march it up. No twisting yet. March it up, check your angles. Sitting on my tailbone, three, good, four. Try not to sway one hip, not trying not to hike one hip up. Six, seven. And then I'll take that leg, I'm gonna go out to my heel, but I'm gonna boop the floor and pull it back in. Then I'm gonna send out two and back in. Three, four. Five, six, seven, and then I'll take the leg straight. I'm gonna lift. Good morning, hamstring. Two. I'm solid through here. Three, four. But if I ever needed to, I put some of my head down. Five, six, seven, and then I'm gonna add that twist this time. So I'm gonna twist through for eight. Ooh, this side's a little tight for me, seven. That's okay. That's why I'm here. Six, five, four, three, two. And then I'll go to my little half bicycle, guys. So my legs out, and I'm going to bring it back in for eight. So I'm trying not to squeeze under here, right, seven? That's not necessary for this. Six, five, four, Three, two, and then I'll add my nice little toe tap. I'm gonna toe tap and twist for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now I'm gonna go into an alternating pattern, okay? So I'm gonna check my landscape, make sure that these are tightly knitted together and that this isn't bubbled up so it's as in as I can and that again that comes from your pelvis okay so what I'm going to do is first thing is I'm going to twist for my torso because I want to dissect that this moves different than this they're, they're they're attached but like they're not the same so I'm going to start I'm going to sit here and I'm just going to rotate from my ribs I'm going to go towards you guys first I'm going to rotate for eight I'm not done you've already had some practice this morning seven good six Five, four, good, but I'm gonna bring some power to this. Three, two, okay, so I want you to go the same way, but this way it'll be true, so I'm gonna have you take your feet up, and if you go too far, you'll add a little holy pulley twist. I'm gonna go the same way, I'm gonna deepen, but try to keep your legs from moving with you, okay? Try to keep them straight like this. Three, and still go the same distance. Four, five, good, six, Give your little inner thighs a squeeze, seven and eight. And then I'll set them down. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, okay? So you can feel what it feels like to have your feet rounded. And I'm gonna go ahead and twist for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then I'll go ahead and bring my legs up one at a time for safety. And I'll twist that way again for eight. See if it feels the same. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now I'm going to come back up through the middle, okay? And then what we were playing with is I really want you to broaden your shoulders because when you curl to go higher, you can maybe go higher, but you're not as functional. So if you keep your elbows wide and like spread your back, I'm gonna go ahead and take my camera leg, I'm gonna open it to the side without falling and I'm gonna squeeze it back in, kinda like what we did at the beginning. But this time it's more profound, you can feel it more. Two, 
Inhaling, exhaling, three. And just so you know, we're gonna double leg it here, okay? Four. So see how stable you can be with one, like, lighthouse leg? Five. Six. Seven. And then I'm gonna squeeze it up the middle, and I'm gonna send both legs towards the camera, and pull it back in. And if you fell, I felt the first time when I was practicing this too, but how I stay steady is I open my shoulders three. That was not a good example. Four. Good. Now, don't let yourself kind of go and anchor, but try to stay curled up and use this to anchor. Six. Seven. And then I'm going to go to single leg with the other one. I'm going to bring it open and close. If you do get really tired and you need to like level this down just a little bit, just set your feet down on three. I'll show you what it looks like. But keep going if you're going. I'm going to stay at four. Good. It would look like this. Five, okay. Six, seven, and then I'm gonna spread my shoulders. You can see my shoulders more on the side. I'm gonna twist and pull it back in for eight. Whew. Seven, six, five. I'm playing with my limits. Four, three. Two. All right, so now I'm gonna toe tap. I'm gonna alternate toe taps. I'm gonna toe tap and bring it back up and switch. Toe tap. This is a perfectly great time. This is an exercise. Um, I mean, it's all Pilates, but this is head down one. So if you're ready for that, this just keeps the burden in a little bit more. Four, three, two, and one. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do um, straight legs out. Okay, so I'm gonna send it out. I'm gonna boost the floor and then I'm gonna pull it back in, and I'm gonna go out and move the foot. This is slower, but it's so that you can really feel it. Three, and again, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're gonna use our hands for straight legs, okay? Because it's still early. I'm gonna use my hands behind my knees. I'm gonna get pull it almost lift my hips up a little bit. I'm gonna grab on my, I'm gonna hug, in the kneecap, I'm gonna drop the other leg down. I'm gonna boot the floor. I'm gonna bring it back up. I'm gonna grab behind the knee, giving myself a stretch and boot. And again, this is totally fine if your neck gets tired. Three. I would actually prefer you set your head down. Four. If you do feel your neck. Five. If you want to start walking up your leg, you can. Six. But totally optional. Seven. And eight. Now I am gonna set my head down. I'm gonna go ahead and take my camera leg. He's gonna go straight. My leg up here is I'm gonna go ahead and cross it on over. I haven't done this one for a while, and I really like it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring, um, yes, I'm gonna bring this hand, I'm gonna bring it in front of my body. Uh, this leg can also go straight, but I'm gonna keep it bent for today. I'm gonna hold this so that I can use it as a thing versus like this neck thing, okay? I'm gonna press down, and I'm gonna lift up, Push your knee into the ground, and then I'm gonna lay back down. I'm gonna curl up, two, and lay back down. And again, three, nice, 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 nice. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then I'm gonna add my knee to my elbow. I'm gonna bring it in for eight. I'm pressing out of my shoulder seven to get really tall. Six. Five. Good tingling, good tingling. I know it's kind of funny to figure out four. Three. My arms are burning me, which is really helpful. Two. And now we're gonna finish with a straight leg twist or a straight leg lift. If you can't, I still bring my knee to my elbow. If you want to reach up, you can. It's the same thing though. Three. Four, good job. Five, six, seven, eight. Which now leads me to go ahead and tuck. I'm gonna curl in and then I'm gonna flex my feet and I'm going to a little side glute work. I'm gonna go ahead, can you put your hands maybe like a sandwich? So I want you to feel that muscle that we felt before and then wrap around the thumb here and I'm gonna squeeze and close. I want you to be able to feel strong. Two and close. Three, good, nice and smooth through here. Four, five, six, seven. All right, then you're gonna hold it up and pulse. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to rotate knee heel. I'm going to tap my knee and tap my heel. Good. Two and three, four. Oh, delicious. Five, six, seven, and eight. And then I like adding diamonds, so I'm going to lift my heels up as high as I can, and I'm going to open for diamonds and close. Open two and close. Three. Good. Still squeezing from your core and being sure that you feel that. Five. I mean, later on, it'll totally settle in. Six. We want that to be a rotator. Seven, not the IT man. And eight. Now set the bottom leg down. You're going to hover the top. You're going to bring it into your chest. You're going to press behind it. People super liberated that you've done this and kind of know how to do it. Two, and so that you can create more ability inside your body. Three, four, five, six, seven, and then I'll take my legs straight. I'm going to stretch it forward and bring it back for eight, seven, six. Four. Beautiful. Good distance. Three. Two. And then I'm going to keep it behind my body. I'm going to pulse back, okay? I want to open my chest, make it broad instead of like leaning forward. Four. Three. Two. Now, can you hold it back? Can you set your heel down? And can you lift it back? Set it down. Lift it back, too. I'm going to keep it here or else I'll cheat. Three. Four. Good. Five, giving a little like donkey kick. Six, seven, and then I'm going to point my toes and I'm going to draw circles back behind me. One, two, opening up your hips. Three, right, because we were bent in a crease for a long time. Four, five, six, seven, and please reverse. Eight, we're almost done. Seven, good job. Six, I see you. Good job. Four, three, and I got all hot, which is awesome. And then we'll go into bicycles. So I'll bring it in. I'm going to kick it forward and go into my nice little bicycles for eight, seven, six, five, don't forget to get a hamstring stretch, three, two, and one. Then we're going to reverse it. Don't forget to find your hamstring stretch. It's like a bonus in there, two, where it's not like painful, three, four, Five, six, seven, and then I'll hold my leg forward. I'm gonna bend and give a little ninja kick high, and bend, two, three. Now, when I start getting tired, I'll hike my hip four. Try to keep your hip pressed away. Six, it might make, not feel like it goes too far, but that's okay. Seven, and then I'll keep my foot straight. I'm gonna set my inseam down, and I'm gonna lift. And again, I really have to work on that hip placement. Two, three, four. Oh, yeah, that feels better. Or harder. I don't know. Five. Sometimes doing it right is harder. Six, seven. And then I'm going to take the foot behind me. I'm going to set it down. I'm going to roll to my back. And then I'm going to cross the free leg, the one that we did not use, so that was on the floor. And I'm going to lift my hips up with that kind of butt I already used and set it back down. I'm going to lift it up and set it back down. And again, for three, four, five, six, very good, seven, and then I'm going to hold it up and I'm going to pulse. Now, I'm a, I tend to, like, overextend my ribs, so I'm going to try and keep it down, four, and just move from here, five, six, seven, and I'll hold it really high for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and that will be enough on that thing. No shenanigans, we're going to go down for that one. Um, so that I can still look at your wonderful faces, I'm going to turn around, um, but we're going to do the same thing on the other side. You can turn around, or you can stay the same way. So just to re up, we did a bunch of core work, but we're going to, we're going to get back to it, but not yet. I'm going to take the opposite leg, and I'm going to bring it forward. Get a nice little twist here. Oh, I like to put my hand here. Then this hand's going to go in the front, and I'm going to start by lifting up, and back down. Good job. I'm trying to push that knee into the ground. It gives me more proprioception. Three, four, 
Exhale as you come up, five, and open your chest. Six, seven, and then you'll add your knee. And I'm doing stair steps, so if you ever don't want to do something, you can pull the weight. Just do the previous version. Three, four, but you guys are pretty awesome and capable. Five, six, seven, Good, and then we'll add that straight leg adventure here. Bring my knee to my elbow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. And then I tucked it in, but I was still able to keep the obliques on strong. I'm gonna lengthen, I get my, I'm regulating my hip. I'm checking out this little, I like, it's not, I'm just like jumping into, but I'm like, okay, everything's in the right spot, and then I'm gonna rotate open and close. And having the obliques hold steady helps the creases not change three where they go. Four, good job. Five, six, seven, and then I'll add my pulse. One, two, that's just to lock it in. Four, five, six, seven, I'm gonna rotate knee heel. One, and good. Two, and three. I hope you can feel your muscle tighten four when you go down. Five, six, seven, and eight. And then we're gonna close shop. We're gonna lift it up for diamond as high as you can. You're gonna squeeze for eight. Good job. That's really high, Katie. Good job. Seven. Good job, Ivan. Six, five, four. Don't forget to breathe. Three, two. Now you're gonna set the bottom leg down where the top leg kind of finds this new normal. You're gonna go forward and you're gonna press back. You can inhale forward and exhale, press. Two, good. Three, four, five. Check that your muscles go really tight through here, six, seven, and eight, and then you'll extend your leg straight up, and then you'll pull it back for eight. Seven, six, five, we're almost done. Four, so you're doing great. Three, putting in work on these muscles, so get these ox oxidized. And then I'm gonna hold it back, and I'm gonna pulse back for eight, seven, this is to open my hips. My knees are squeezing the glute, good. Four, three, two, and then with it back, I'm going to set my heel down and lift for eight, seven, six, good. I'm angling back, though. It's great. Five, four, three, two, and then I'm going to point and draw circles back there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then reverse, eight, hold it in, seven, don't forget about it, six, five, four, three, two, and next is bicycle, so I'll tuck it in, I'm going to stretch my hamstring and bring it back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, then I'll reverse it. I'll bring it forward. I'm gonna bend and push it back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then I'll go ahead and bring it forward. I'm gonna bend and kick. Eight. I'm checking out at seven because he wants to like help by squishing in six like that. And I want to keep it straight. Three, two, and then finishing up, I'm going to set the end seam down and lift up for eight. Good. Seven. Oh, mama. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now we're going to take it. We're going to set it down. We're going to roll to our backs. We're going to cross over, opening up your hip so everything is not squished, and then you're going to lift. And lower. Good. 
I'm going to fold it tight too. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I'm going to hold it up in place. One, two, three. I'm pushing this knee open for mobility. Six, and then I'll hold it really high for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. We'll roll ourselves down. And that was just a clever disguise as we get ready to do doubling up some more. Um, both our twisting thing. Yes, we're good on time. Okay, so I'm going to take it back as we like to double up. I really care that your glutes are stable in there. Hopefully it's just a smidge tired so you know where they are in space more. Um, so what I'm going to do is my heels are close to my bum. I'm sitting on my tailbone. And I'm going to curl up for eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lift both legs up. Can you lift up to your tiptoes and then add both legs and then set it down. I'm gonna lift both legs and it's coming from um, my hips and abs versus like from my knees, okay? I'm gonna go four, three, two, and now we're gonna add a twist, okay? We're gonna alternate twist. So I'm gonna I'm gonna twist and then tap today. I'm gonna twist and then tap. Twist three and then tap. Four, five, six. Good job, guys. Good job. Seven. Really helpful if you put your hands on your pelvis if that's better. Then I'm gonna send my legs out. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to keep them here. But you totally can and should if you need to, like this. Three, okay. Four. Five. And we're going to tap on the end phase, okay? Six. Check your landscape. Seven. Quality over quantity. Eight. So now I'm going to twist and send it out. I'm going to twist. It's nice and slow. Send it out. Squeeze. Twist. Send it out. Squeeze. Three. Four, five, six. If this is really crazy, you can pick up seven and eight. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, drops. Again, perfect time to put your hands here. I'm going to drop both heels to the ground, and I'm going to scoop from my core and lift. Down, two, and back up. Three. Sorry, there's a door in the way. Four. Oh, that feels better. Five. Six. Oh, you're so strong. Curl up higher. Seven. Or sit your head down and put your hands on your waist. Eight. Good. Now tuck your knees in. So good. Um, what we're going to go into next is we're going to go into cha-cha abs. So remember, this is a great place. Cha-cha uh, is where you cross. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, this is bent leg style. I'm going to go for straight, but bent leg still works your core because it's still attached, okay? I'm going to give you options. Um, for this one, though, I'm going to go ahead and prop myself up onto my elbows, but I'm going to show you what it looks like down. I'm going to do cha-cha first. Then for corkscrew, I'm going to circle. Circle. Eight one way, eight the other. And the final thing we're going to do is mermaid, where I go by the ground and I lift it up, okay? Guys, still core. All core in this position. Um, this is better for necks and for iliopsoasis, okay? But um, to keep myself going, I'm going to prop myself up. So if that's where you are, you totally can. Whoop. All right, so what this looks like is I'm going to oh, I'm gonna take my legs up, or they can be bent, and I'm going to alternate. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and back up. I'll go one, two, reaching through my toes, five, six, seven, and down. I'll go eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, and back up, we only have two more. Three, four, five, six, and then two more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and up. I'll go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and up. I'll go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good. Okay, next is going to be corkscrew. I'm going to keep my legs bent just as a thing. I'm going to bring it around, and I'm going to drop and then scoop it back up for eight, four, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. And then I'll go the other direction. Inhaling, exhaling, point up for eight, seven, six, five. You cannot see this on camera, but I'm a little shaky. Four, or I'll see if you can, maybe you can. Three, I'm like, ooh, two. And then the last thing is gonna be mermaid. So I'm gonna brush my feet out. I'm gonna lift up and pull back in. Brush it out, two. Good. Three, four, five, six, good, seven, and then I'm going to reverse it. I'm going to pull it in, reach it up, and slide it down for eight, seven, six, ooh, how sweaty. Five, four, three, two, and one. Happy to let that go. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my heels in to open up my hips a little bit for me. Increase your leg down, probably very good. A lot better option, my goodness. I'm gonna tuck my toe in, I'm gonna lift my hips up, and then I'm gonna roll back down. And I'll lift up. We're just going to go to floor. This is kind of a reset. I want you to lengthen as you go back down, creating a lot of space. And then one more. Good. Okay. So we are in the last little bit. Okay. We have more time. But we are still in the last little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to do arms. Um, we did these one arms yesterday. So we're going to do something a little different. If you were not here yesterday, you should not do what we're doing, okay? Unless you want to, freedom, you know. Um, so what I recommend is wall or couch push-ups where you put your, my imaginary wall, I put my, my hands up and I bend and press in a wall push-up. You can also do them on the floor, right? Um, bring your hips and bring them down. We did both yesterday. Um, what I'm gonna pose, so we're gonna do 20 seconds on and off, use the wall, or you can do, um, do them on the floor, of you were here yesterday, I'm going to offer a different angle for shoulders more where you turn your fingers in. That'll really help. And you press yourself back and up, and then you bring your head towards the floor and push. Okay. Also, if you were here yesterday, you don't have to do that either, um, but I wanted to give some variety on a different angle on where you're getting into your arm and shoulder girdle. Whoop. Not to be confusing, but liberating. And sometimes having choices can be both. So I'm going to set you up for success. Let's see. All right, guys. I'm going to set the timer where my head is not. That looks probably good. So it'll be 20 seconds on, 10 off. We'll start in three. I'm going to turn my fingers in personally. I'm going to lift up. And I'm going to do push-ups. Yeah. Belly button in and stretching out that back side. Or doing wall push-ups where you don't have to worry about the pressure on the wrist. And go ahead and rest. Coffee break. And again. Summer arms. All right, back at it. Oh, man. And rest. Oh, man, I need this. You know I know because it feels like <laughs> all right again. Yeah, if you get tired during things, just be like, this is good for me. 
I'm eating my broccoli. And then when you're already good at it and it's not that hard, just be like, oh, finally. <laughs> I don't know though. I think it's always kind of challenging for me. And rest. So I don't want anybody to give themselves a nose job, but I'm working towards touching my forehead on the ground as I push up. I do it at the beginning, and then as this goes on, I do not. Let's see if I can show you guys. Oh yeah. That's about as close as it's gonna get without a nose job. Stretching out my tight calves. And rest. Good. And again. Mama. We only have two more times. This being one of them. And rest. Oh yeah. Symphony. One more time. And done. All done with that. Yay, good job. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to do it just a little bit more on the ground. So to give a break from my hands, I'm gonna to go to my elbows. Um, so from here, I want you to pull your belly button in nice and tight, and I'm gonna change my angle a little bit so you can see better. And then this is kind of funny. I'm gonna have you do some things wrong. Do you pull your shoulders to your ears? And pull them down towards your waist? Okay, yeah, that's kind of funny. All right, so I'm gonna stop somewhere in the middle, and then can you bring your hands together? And then can you bring them out? Bring them together, bring them out. My upper shoulders are, are doing well with this so far, so that's good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my one leg back, and then can you tuck your toes under and push through and then tap your knee down? You're going to push through, roll your toes, and tap your knee down. I want you to scoop your core up and in. Three, four, five, six, good, seven. And then I want you to keep the legs straight. And can you lift it? Can you go up for eight and down? Seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, go ahead and tuck it back in. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna curl my toes, I'm gonna reach and back in. Now what's kind of hard to see on the other side is I'm trying to scoop this in four like I would do for a plane. Five. Push through the heels, stretch out six, seven, and eight, and then I'll add a lift. Oh, this is good. Hold your tight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now the rest of this you can totally do from your knees, two, and one, and then I'll bring it back home. So I'm gonna do marching with my feet, not with my elbows, but I'm gonna step back, back, in, in, okay? I'm gonna go back, back, in, in. I'll go four, four, in, in, three, three, in, in, two, and one, and then can you hold for me for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now stretch your knees, rotate that bottom elbow in, and can you open up? Good. And then I'm going to set my hips down. I'm going to reset my elbow if you need it. And then I'm going to lift back up for eight and down. Seven. Good. Six. Five. 
Nice. Four. Feel free to improvise any of this as you need to. Three. Two. And then I'm going to thread the needle. I'm going to take my top arm. I'm going to go through the middle and then pull it back up. Through the middle and back up. Pulling my elbow towards my waist. Because if I push away, it's going to make my shoulders tired. I'll go four. Three. Two. And one. And then set yourself down. Kindly. Good. And then um, just so I can see guys, I'm going to go back onto all fours this direction. All fours again. And then I'm gonna step out for eight, okay? I'm gonna get my shoulders the best that I can. I'm gonna push through the heel like we practiced. Out, in, in. Out, out. I'm not trying to kill you, I just want you to have good form when you go out. I'm going slow enough to practice. We'll go four, four, in, in, three, three, in, in, two, two, in. And last one. Good. I'm going to take my knees out. I'm just going to go there. I'm going to rotate the bottom of the way. Then I'm going to go up. We're going to skip some of the stuff. And then I'm going to set my hips down. I'm going to go for eight. Good. Seven. Six. Five. Not too much more. You don't want you to get red burn on your elbows. Four. Three. Two. And then I'll take the hands and I'm going to bring it through the third knee. Eight. And up. Seven to open the chest. Six. Five. Four. Three. Good. Two. And one. Good. Rest it down. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and bring myself up. And I'm going to turn and face the, my wall over here. To kind of finish this up as we get ready to stretch. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Okay. So um, you can play with your hands. This this can be not a lift, this can just be a stretch. I'm gonna turn my hands and open my chest and kind of wait in there. I wanna feel this opening maybe a little bit back. I wanna work on the shoulders a little bit. So like this, or you can turn your hands the other way and see how that feels. We're gonna, I'm gonna lift on this soon. So pick a position, um, I'm gonna go this way. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna pull my shoulders together and I'm gonna lift my hips up and I'm gonna stretch up my bicep up a little bit and I'm gonna fold about four more seconds and then if you can I'm gonna go ahead and march one leg up for eight and then down seven six ooh, five. my biceps are shaky four three two it's because my triceps are so strong and then I'm gonna go ahead and switch eight if you did not want to march you can just be stretching seven six five four Three, good, that looks really good. Two, and one. And then on your way down, I want you to roll down. Roll, 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 roll. All the way to the foot. And then go ahead and take your legs straight. And then I want you to take your weight off your hands. I want you to stretch forward. And then set yourself up nice and tall. And pull your palms up. And then close your palms and stretch forward. And then roll up, sit. And then again, we're gonna do this a few times as we're easy into things. And back up. And I'll go two more. Stretch. And the last. Good. Um, from here, I'm going to go ahead and, since we're already here, it just like makes sense. Um, if you can grab your calves or however flexible you are, you can grab your feet. Uh, but I want you to pull your belly button back. I want you to pull with your arms and then push with your legs to kind of create a hollow C. And then I want you to sit as tall as you can. And then I want you to pull your belly button back, stretching out. And I want you to sit up tall. Again, calves are great, different thing. And then sit up tall, roll, pulling it back. Good. Good, now while you're here, whether you're on your calves or whether you're on your feet, point and flex a little bit. If you have your hands, use those to help mobilize you a little bit. Good. Okay, now I'm gonna bring my hands back, no weight bearing here. I'm gonna flex my feet, and then what I wanna do is I wanna just curl my toes and open them. I'm just gonna curl my toes, open them. Look at your beautiful feet, they're so good for you. We love our feet. Okay, now this is funny, can you just wave? So keep your big toe in place, and just wave your four small toes. Yeah. 
And then can you spread your toes? Can you like, can you like, fan them? Fan yeah. them? Can you open them? Feet are not glorious, so I'm not gonna put them right in the thing. But. And then can you, I'm gonna flex. I'm gonna just curl my toes. I'm gonna point my toes. I'm gonna flex my toes. I'm gonna flex my feet. So I'll say that again, I'm gonna point my, or I'm gonna curl my toes, point my toes, flex my toes, flex my feet. So we're kind of articulating different. The fact that you can do your toes different than your foot position, yeah. Not really think about it for, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna reverse that. I'm gonna keep my feet flexed. I'm gonna keep my toes flexed. I'm gonna point my toes, or point, point my feet with flex toes. I'm going to point, and I'm going to flex, and then flex. I'm going to point, point, flex, flex. It was hard to say, so that's why I was understand. Good. Okay, so now we're going to get to, I'm going to go ahead and do ankle circles, and that lets my um, femurs roll a little bit in the hip socket without me having to carry anything. And then I'll go ahead and go the other way. And then I'll go ahead and um, bring one leg over, and then I'm going to slide it in to stretch out any hip stuff. I can scoot myself in a little bit if I want to get a little closer. And this is a time for me to reflect on, okay, where am I tight? That's what's strong. And then if you could rock back and forth a little. Breathe. I'm so proud of you for doing, I, we did hard things somewhere. I hope you kind of forgot about it because now you're just stretching. And then I'll switch. And then I go ahead and bring both heels in and go ahead and go into butterfly. Feels good. I go ahead and stretch. Now I'm leaning forward. If you would kind of bow your head a little bit and see if that feels better. Which leads me now, we're kind of working backwards, is I'll take my legs out to the side. I don't have room this way, so I'm just going to turn a little bit. Um, and then I want to be able to rock back and forth onto my pelvis just to find a good sitting position. And then sitting upright the best I can. I'm going to go ahead and go to a side first, whatever you want to think. And then I'll bring my elbow in front or all the way to my shoulder. And if you want to do a big side stretch, reach up and over. And I'm lengthening through. Good. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. I'll bring my elbow in front. Oh, yeah, that looks beautiful. Big opening. Ah, yes. All right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross my ankles and I'm going to go around to all fours. Place that we were um, really good at doing this thing. And I want to go ahead and um, stretch out my, my back and belly. So I'm going to roll under. And I personally feel more when I roll back and forth a little bit. Just staying stagnant. I don't really feel anything, which is probably a good sign. And then I'll go the other way. Oh, I feel that. Belly. And then I'll stop. And then I'll roll. And then I'll do one or two more times. I hope this feels good. And then while I'm here, I'm going to take one hand and I'm going to bring them under to kind of relax and stretch into. Good. Um, the more I bring this shoulder down, the more stretch I get. So if you don't feel much, again, that could be good. It could bring yourself more flat. And then I'll switch to the other side. I'll bring it through. And then I'll bring myself up right. And then I'm going to push my hips back up to search on my top. So I'm going to push my hips back. And I'm going to pedal one. And then the other. Good. And then if you can, I'm looking for a synchronicity. So then I'll push both back. I want you to pull your shoulders up wide and down your back. And let your neck and the shoulders relax. 
And then from here, I'm going to take my feet apart a little bit. I'm going to keep my knees soft. And I'm going to walk my hands back. From here, with a soft knee, I'm going to clasp the hands. And then I'm going to go ahead and rock gently back and forth. So like there's a nice little breeze in here. And then slowly I'll stop rocking. Now my eyes happen to be closed because you don't have to see anything. And from here, I'm going to take a nice deep breath in through my nose. I'm going to exhale. And as I do, I'm going to let my hair get heavier towards the floor and pull my belly button up towards the ceiling. This time I'm going to breathe in. I'm going to exhale. I'm going to let my hands go to the floor. I'm going to breathe in through my nose, filling my brain up with all this healthy oxygen. And on my exhale, I'm going to pull all the weight from the depths of my belly button to push out all the old stale air. And one more deep breath. And leaning with my chin towards my chest, and then I give my head a gentle nod yes. Shake my head down. And nod my head yes. Get a little softer in the extremes. Shake my head down. And then one more time. Yes. You're gonna have a good day. No, no bad stuff. And I'm gonna soften my knees. I'm gonna tuck my toes and I'm gonna roll up nice and slow for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. I know I'm out of frame. Good! Oh, look, you guys are too! Alright, you guys are dreamy.